Um, I am going to talk about the dreams from last night, not because I think what I have is that helpful in terms of records, but maybe it's helpful to the people who program my dreams to know what I did and didn't get out of it, and I didn't get a whole lot. So what I found is that I was waking up with certain images in my heads, certain <laughs> in my heads, I was waking up with certain images in my head that didn't seem, you know, they were probably connected to the dream, but they didn't really seem like they were, but I couldn't get the dream. So I had dreams, as far as I know, all night long. And I can remember at least two instances knowing I had a pretty elaborate dream, but couldn't remember any of it when I woke up. I just knew that there was something there and I couldn't reach it. At 2.48 a.m., I wrote, Eating chocolate chip cookie dough somehow related to me being set up with boyfriends. Chris or someone, I don't mind that. I mind having my career sabotaged. Um, now, it's not correct that I don't mind all the, my setups that happen to me. I do mind some of them. Um, especially mine, like Mike Payne. Really mind that a lot. Um, I don't mind being set up with Chris, but um, once again, I don't think people realize how severe this career sabotage. I mean, this is a major, major, major thing for both Chris and I. I mean, major. And if nothing else, I want the truth told about especially Chris's, you know, career, but mine too. You know, I should have had a chance to do the things that I wanted to do with my life. Why not? Why shouldn't I? You know, I know that you know, maybe that I'm coming from a place of privilege, you know, or assume assumption of privilege, thinking that I should, but not every kid should expect in this country, especially every kid should expect to have opportunities, including my own daughter. So I should have had the types of careers, I should have the types of opportunities that I thought I should have had, including music. I should have been able to be a musician or an artist or a graphic designer. But the thing is, I was put into a position where even if I wasn't actively being sabotaged, I still couldn't do those things because I didn't have the pieces in place that you need to have to have success in this country, which actually has to do with participating in this crime. It is a crime. I'm not going to stop calling it a crime. It is a crime, what was done to us. It is a major freaking crime. It's not cool, it's not cute, it's not funny, and it's not okay. And if nothing else, the fact that I've had to stay here in this horrible place for five years after I discovered the crime attests to the fact of how horrible it is. This is not a joke, it's not, you know, it's not anything that's been presented as. It's a crime. And I do not appreciate having my career sabotaged. There's no way to, you know, overcome that at this point. There's just no way. I mean, I would welcome somebody trying. I haven't seen anybody even try. But, um, you know, I love how the little indie bands nowadays want to really smear that your face in that. And I really don't um, think you guys are cool. Um, you know who you are, you little indie bands. Not really indie either, by the way. Okay, so then... I realize that the chocolate chip cookie dough has oatmeal in it, like this raw oatmeal. I'm not sure what that's about. That is not what my dream was. I don't remember what the dream itself was. And then I write guitar lessons in an abandoned theater. So that's just a flash image I have laying down, trying to go back to sleep, trying to remember the dream. I just get this idea of the guitar lessons being in this abandoned theater. So maybe there was hidden, probably there was hidden cameras in my guitar lessons. Um, so yeah, I got guitar lessons and then they kept smashing my guitar, right? That was the game. Um, the funny thing is I was so brainwashed that for a lot of years, all that had to happen is, um, for my mom to just take my guitars and say, you can't play these. It never even occurred to me. Like my brain was so controlled. It didn't even occur to me that I could maybe save up my money and go out and buy myself in a guitar and all this kind of stuff. I just, um, I let the woman really harm me. I mean, no, I'm not sure if you can really say that if this is the person that raises you, but um, she really did a number on me. And she even like tried to give my guitar away to my cousins and things like that. And when I finally did get my guitar back, then they sabotaged me again and again and again and again and again. 
Again, this is why I'm calling out bands like Bikini Kill. I don't think you get to like take all these accolades for what you've been doing when part of what you were doing was supporting this system. And I mean, I think in a very intimate way, you basically were putting your foot on the throat of another woman so that you could get ahead. And not that you got, you know, and then people want to argue about how successful you were or you weren't. When people celebrate you for being these groundbreaking feminists, I think you can consider that a success. So I think you should take all the parts of how you achieved your success and put them in the same bucket. Then another dream. Okay, I had more dreams, but did, couldn't remember them. Image of people using underwear as a humiliation tool. So was this idea of the underwear is too big, it doesn't fit right, whatever. Um, and another dream in the background. I'm just noting the fact that I actually had dreams that I couldn't remember. Then I tried to go to sleep again and got a vision of Ariana Grande in a bunny mask. So whatever dreams these were, they were erased. And, um, a few nights ago I had this dream of, um, of my dreams being unplayed. It was very theatrical. Everything was kind of sped up and it was very cartoony and theatrical where I'm dreaming, dreaming, dreaming. And then somebody unplugs my dreams like a TV set. Um, kind of like my friend Teal. I remember her unplugging the jukebox in the cafeteria in high school. Um, like, no more of that. But, and then later on, there's this weird kind of wooden projector where they're trying to, like, record the dreams. And then a couple nights later, I had this dream of Nicki Minaj, which is weird because I woke up without having the sense of even had that dream, and then it was returned to me. So that was like a return memory. So what I kind of feel like is maybe somebody was going to a different part of my brain or something and actually recording things to be recalled but whatever happened last night that didn't work so um i'll just work with what i've got but anyway it isn't much <laughs>